This is the new Viltrox 42 to 420 millimeter lens. See you later, guys. You're watching Synity, supported by b and and CVP. Hi, guys. I'm Johnny from Synity, and I'm here with Benedict from Viltrox. Benedict, how are you? Um, I'm actually good. You know, this show is amazing. I'm, you know, so excited to, you know, have a public speaking with my Johnny, friends. Johnny, Johnny. Yeah. yeah. This is the first time that we meet and it's very nice to talk to you. Yeah. I know sometimes it's kind of a first interview, so we are a bit rusty, but we will get it right because we are going to talk about this <laughs> amazing thing. This is that what the Viltrox, what? The Viltrox 42 to 420 mil, 65.6, 10 squares zoom lens. This is amazing. Guys, first of all, it's very impressive. This is not your everyday pocket lens. Uh, but let's run through because I'm sure there's certain usage for such a lens. So let's start talking about it from here all the way to the front. Yep. So, so f first of all, about the mount of this lens. Yeah, the mount is actually the 65 frame for LPL mount instead of full frame. Actually, the 30 to 300 is the, for the full frame and the PL mount. And how fast is this lens? Yeah, it's actually the T-stop from 5.6 to T-stop to 20, 22 actually. Moving on, obviously it's a zoom lens as you said, so the focal length is from? Yeah, the focusing and zooming, the focus is around, uh, from 42 to 420 as, yeah. as you can tell. Right. So if I go to 420, the T-stop will stay constant? Constant T-stop. Interesting. Good. Moving then, what do we have here? So obviously you have a very big, I mean, there are different rings uh, for, for the aperture and for the uh, zoom and so on. And focus. So when it comes to focus, it's a manual focus, obviously. Yeah, it's definitely manual focus, zooming and everything. So it has to be manual because it's a cinematic lenses. Of course, and the amount is also determining that there are no autofocus here. Yeah. So, who is it lens for? The high-end consumers, actually, and those people who are like big production filmmakers or director of photography. And where do you see those people that you just talked about using such a lens? Um, I mean, most of the situation they will be coming from, you know, the rentals or, you know those people who are really into the filmmaking and, and, and big production, they're going to use it in every you know, situation. It will be really helpful for the whole shot. And what is the front diameter of this amazing beast? It actually got the built-in ND filter and easily you can change in any like the filter by loosening the real lock so you can get everything, basically everything you need in terms of the filter. Good. So this lens in general is made to resolve what? Full HD, 4K, 8K, what is the resolving power? Across all settings. Interesting. Good. And I'm also kind of, uh, it's, it's surprising for me that you're demonstrating such a lens on a mirrorless camera. This is just for demo or that's really the philosophy? Uh, with our philosophy, you know, it's going to be releasing on October or November or something. It's going to be good. And the pricing for such a lens? Uh, this lens is actually for $100,000. $100,000. So obviously, it's not for everyday usage and it's mostly maybe for rental houses. Yeah, apparently it's not like day-to-day -day usage. It's more like a situation for rental or for those people, really professionals. Now, just between us, yeah, when I was trying to lift the lens, I was like, oh, I didn't have breakfast. You really need to be powerful. What is the weight of this lens? The weight it's around 16 kilograms. Guys, here you have it, 16 kilo for this lens. And color-wise, will it come only in white or also in black or pink? Um, in most of the situ situation, this lens is customizable. If you want to make it all black, it's, you know, we can do it. And all pink also? 
No. Uh, normally, there's no one doing a pink lens, right? Either white or black, but it's customizable. As you, long as you want, we can do it, apparently. Benedict, anything else that I forgot to ask about the slangs? Because obviously here, I mean, I didn't mention before, this is for the back focus and all of yeah, these yeah, yeah. Uh, crucial adjustments. Anything else that you want to say about this lens? Yeah, I'm going to talk about this lens. It's actually, you know, from apparently you can tell it's 10 screen zoom range. It, it gives you really wide variety of the shooting needs, making it really uh, an essential tool for the professionals. And also, it got the consistent, you know, focus plan. You know, it gives you really sharp and clear you know, across all the settings. You mean it's really sharp edge to edge? Yeah, edge to edge, minimal distortion and focus breathing. Even a short focal lens, it maintains, you know, really great minimal distortion and focus breathing. And how about chromatic aberration? The chromatic aberration is really good without like noticeable fringing on, you know, from the center to the edges. You know, Another quick question, because when a company like Viltrox is deciding to produce such a lens, this is also a statement. In many ways, it means, hey guys, look, we are able to create such a high optical uh, beast, basically. Great. So is that the idea, also a bit of marketing or only functionality? Um, I mean, in both perspectives, you know, it's kind of endorsement, like we are capable capable of doing something that is really good and really fit on the market, right? And we are also, we think it's a great optical from our, you know, the, the power and a powerful performance, we can do it. And even a cinematic lens, we can do it. And other lens, yeah, why not? It's easy. Easy, so if that's so easy, how long does it take to build this lens? Because I guess there's a lot of handwork here. Maybe, you know, I'm out, really out of curiosity. It's like two days, you know, to, to assemble everything. How many days? Um, it's going to be 20 days. If you pre-order this, we're going to be making this lens in 20 days and send it over to you. So everything is going to be cool. Good. So here you have it. Um, 100,000 US dollars. You can place your order right now, I guess, and get it in 20 days, or it, it's still in the making? Uh, when is the actual release date to the market? It's either October or November. Okay, so please don't rush. Don't rush to, to put the check, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay, okay. Benedict, obviously the optical quality of this lens is very important for you guys. What else would you like to, to say about it? Actually, the optical superiority, it gives you like really minimal distortion and focus breathing effect. Even at a short focal lens, it gives you like true to life visual experience. And in terms of the structural integrity, it actually, as I mentioned before, it's highly uniform, you know, design controlling control angles. When you're focusing and zooming, it you know, maintains the same with the seamless transition and, and, and smooth operation when you are trying to smooth, you know, transit one lens to the other lunar series lenses, right? And also it got the built-in, you know, handle and... and oh, oh, got a heart attack. Yeah. And the thread is actually three of eighths, an inch thread standard threat mount. Benedict, thank you very much for sharing all this valuable information. It was a pleasure talking to you. You know, it's my honor to talk to you and, and you know, like it's, you know, it's really good. Thanks for having me to talk about our, our new lenses for the cinema lens 42 to 420 mil 65 frame T5.6 10 script zing range. Great, we just summarized the whole interview in two sentences. Guys, thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.